have a super duper duper busy morning ahead of us. Um, I just dropped off Jackers at school and now I am dropping off Koi Koi. But that's not the busy morning. Um, we have some people coming over to our house for an appraisal. Um, not at our request, but so we have to get last minute things cleaned up and stuff. And then um, we also have during that appraisal a team meeting for Koi Koi. Um, so my husband's gonna save the appraisal. I'm gonna go to the team meeting, and we're kind of like kind of tag team this whole morning, um, and that will go till this afternoon, probably about two or three o'clock, probably three thirty. So. Um, and then it's time to pick up kids, so it's just like rush, 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 like the whole clear till the kids get out of school. Um, so yeah, we have loads of stuff to do. I'm excited to get it all done and behind us, but this morning's going to be a little crazy. Alright, the appraisal went just fine. I was working myself up over nothing. The landlord didn't even come with them, which I thought was kind of weird. Um, and Koi Koi is home now, so a lot's happened. Um, just folded some laundry, got some stuff done, and it's time to go get Jackers, so I'm headed to school right now, and some things are probably gonna be changing around here for us, which is crazy. A lot of different changes probably are coming up soon. We've been talking, me and my husband, about a lot of things, and as soon as things are 100% sure, then of course we'll share, but right now we're just kind of brainstorming and deciding where we're going to go from here. So anyway, um, that being said, I'm going to get Jack. A jink! Mickey Mouse! Oh yeah! Are you excited? He loves the show. I love the show. You're so cute, baby. Jack, get your coat on so we can go. Kill the baby. What you doing, buddy? Oh, sorry. Mom knocked into one of the cars. Cool car making. You look like a bumblebee in that shirt. It's actually blue and yellow, but it looks kind of black and yellow. <laughs> You're so cute. That's cool little car deal. I love you. Be good, okay? Mom's going out on a date with Jack. Okay, we're headed on our way to our date. Me and Jackers. Oh, yeah. And tigress, the toy tigress, yep. Um, we are just going to event, an event at the school, but we're going together on a little date, and then I have something special planned afterward for him, so he should be super duper excited. We're super, I'm super excited to take him. We had our spaghetti dinner date, huh? What do you think? Yeah, we're eating spaghetti, it's delicious. God. Is it yummy? How was the spaghetti dinner? Good. I got a <laughs> video of me. Yeah, there's a video of him singing a spaghetti song. Can you sing it for the camera? Oh, spaghetti, spaghetti, spaghetti. This is my spaghetti song. It was longer than that, but that's the gist of it. And it was super duper duper cute. The video of him, it was the entire school singing it. And he was like, bouncing literally like up and down in the um in this the video he was like jumping up and down and all the other kids are just kind of like doing the arm actions and he was like jumping so you can always tell where he's at it was super cute heck yeah we're at dairy queen oh that's ketchup can you put it back please i don't want ketchup what did you order um, for your treat. Um, ice cream with a cherry on top. <laughs> Heck yeah. I want to eat the cherry like Wreck It Ralph. Like what? Like Wreck It Ralph. Oh, Wreck It Ralph. We are at Dairy Queen and we are getting our dessert on our date, huh, Bubba? Huh, Bubba? Chocolate ice cream with a cherry on top. Yeah, I'm gonna put a on top. That looks awesome. I yeah, buddy. Mama got a mint blizzard with Oreo. 
Look at Jack's chocolate mustache as a result of his ice cream. <laughs> He's embarrassed, but he like has chocolate like all over him. It's really cute. I'm working on another sewing project. I am making cloth wipes. So this is one side. This is the other side for my cloth that I bring. So I'm just doing like a yard worth of fabric and then I just um, kind of try to make them all the same size. And these are the scrap ones which they're a lot smaller but I, I like them for um, washing kids face after like eating and stuff so I actually put the smaller ones in the kitchen drawers um, and then the bigger ones I use for cloth wipes. So I just think these prints are so super cute and they're super easy. I just cut out the flannel, um, two, two squares together and then I just get my handy serger over there and serger on the edges with a white so anyway it's cheaper and better th at least I think it's better than buying them and it's a lot cheaper so that's what I'm doing right now okay so this is the cloth wipes so far so you can see they're just like surged around the edges and then I trim up the corners um, and the back is so cute I just love this print um, and these are the ones that I've been to put in my kitchen they're just a little bit smaller they're really great for washing up kids after. so all I'm doing is surging around the edges and I leave these until I'm done and then I clip them at the end and you can see this is all my scrap pile so I just surge off a little bit I'll do one on the camera to show you like so. and then I snip and do another side. And then again, just snip the string and do it again. The last side on this one. And on the last one, I'm more careful about where I snip, like right next to it. And then these little pieces here. You just snip right on the corners on all the corners. And then you have a finished wipey. Alright, here's the wipies all done. I just tri-folded them into each other so that when you pull them out of the wipes container, they like pull up out of each other. Um, and it pulls the next one up. I just keep like a hard wipe container. So those are my cloth wipies. They were so easy to make and super cute. Um, it probably took me 15 minutes total with cutting out and everything. Um, so really, I do use a rotary board, that one right there. Um, and then my rotary cutter, which is this. Um, so it just like slices really quick. Um, and I did have like a little template that I used for size. Um, well, it wasn't really a template, it was just a piece of cardboard like this um, for size to make sure they were all close to the same size but yeah they are super simple and cute and I just messed up my my trifold um, but it's really easy to trifold them actually um, you just kind of overlap to fold that one in and then um, but yeah they're cute and then these five are just the wipes for the for wiping up my kids after they eat and stuff these come in very handy and these were just the scraps made five of those 25 regular baby wipes so that are this size here so they were perfect I'm really excited to use these I pre-washed the fabric by the way and <coughs> dry it so that it's shrunk to where it will be so they won't shrink anymore um, and then I just use the white stitching with so I have an obsession with making scarves this is the one I'm working on right now I have to show you my obsession. I'm, I'm not even kidding. I think it's an addiction. Um, it's kind of sad. I love scarves. Let's just say that. Okay. So this hanger is the home to my scarf collection. I have a few other random ones, but this one and this one here, this one. Like some blues and greens and pinks and oh, scarves. I love them. But it's going to get warm soon and I won't have, I won't be wearing them. But I'm making this, it's like a shiny black and silver one. I just, I'm obsessed with it. So yeah. 
there's the finished scarf.